Three Henry County teens have graduated with the highest of honors, summa cum laude, and the best part, their triplets. Go figure, right? Good news, <laughs> Natalie Fultz spoke with the Ola gra High graduates about what it took to maintain a perfect grade point average through the years. Wow. Y'all have never gotten like a B or a C or no. I think I might got a B. I like mean, like, one. We'll get, like, I, mean, B's, I think like, I've had a one B. Like, yeah, we'll get like we'll get like 89s and 88s. We won't get like 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 if you come here with a B, it's like, it's like, like what's, what's, what's a B? Exactly. What? Yeah, what, what is a B? I don't yeah. know what that is. <laughs> we don't we don't go for Bs. We go for As. No C's or D's for these Henry County triplets. Kendall, Colby, and Sydney Belcher literally worked their entire lives for this moment, walking across the stage on graduation day with a 4.0 GPA. It just felt natural because they've just been pushing us since. It, it was always expected just to be at the top of our class. The Ola High School trio says they learned at a very young age the importance of getting good grades, crediting their mom and dad with all of their success. Every kid, like you want to make your parents as proud as you can in your life. So just to see how proud that they was for us on graduation, like it made me super happy. They've been working for a very long time. You know, a lot of people just think you know, this is just high school. They just did this for four years. But actually, we started them when they were three years old. The siblings say anyone can graduate summa cum laude with dedication, sacrifice, and of course, a little friendly competition. We we'll always like argue about who had the highest grade, yeah, who had the I highest average. Yeah, come home with a 95, and you'd be like, well, I got a 97, and... Yeah. And I feel like I'm dumb because I got a 93. <laughs> For 18 years, the teens have done everything together, but come August, one of them will be going their separate way. Colby and Sydney are heading to Georgia State University, and Kendall off to Gordon State College. We're gonna be walking around campus. People are like, are y'all twins? No. no we, got, we have another one. Yeah. He just goes to a different school. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of weird not having him around. The triplets say they have big plans for the future, including graduating from college with, you guessed it, perfect GPAs. In Henry County, Natalie Foltz for Good Day Atlanta.